Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, the fourth best commentator on YouTube. I have had way too many glasses of wine, some kind of Chilean wine from 2007. I thought to myself, I could have a couple glasses of water and lie down for a while, or I could go make a magic video, and you can now see which one, which one of those options I chose. Um... You know, yeah, 2007. I, I, when I was looking at the wines on the shelf, I was like, all right, there's 2007, 2009, 2012, blah, blah, blah. I thought, why not pick a wine that's from before the financial crisis? Because you know that before 2009, people were, weren't cutting corners on their wine, all right? You know, 2007, people were probably like, oh, throw in the extra good grapes, man. Use the extra pretty girls for crushing the grapes with their feet. You know, store in the extra old oaken wine barrels or whatever the hell they stored in. But as soon as the recession hit, I guarantee you everyone and their mother was like, whoa, how can we cut back on wine costs so that we can deliver the cheapest, crappiest two-buck chuck to everyone out there? And I'm, I'm playing Massive Demir. Why won't anyone play me? Any player. No one's coming. I'll find someone else. They probably started using really ugly, dirty people to crush the, the wine grapes. And they probably started picking wine that wasn't like they had the leaves in it. I don't know. They probably didn't even pick out all the leaves. They probably just had leaves mixed in with the grapes. Let's see if this guy's going to play against me. All right. I'm not afraid of you. Let's go. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Come on, Rainbow. Please hold my hand. Press the start ready button. <laughs> All right. Oh, Inferno. All right. Is this a good hand? Uh, I'm really torn. Two land hand. Going second. Going to draw. I can do mana fixing. I got a second turn play, a third turn play. I'm going to keep it. Then again, I'm drunk, so I don't know what I'm doing. Do not know what I'm doing. So do not. So here's how this is going to roll. Basically, if I win. Um. It means I'm awesome because I managed to win without knowing anything. Hold on, so I gotta be like, good luck, have fun, don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. And if I lose, it's because I'm drunk. So basically, I win no matter what. All right, dude, don't even. I love doing this in the middle of the turn because like they were about to do something, and you know you made them angry because they're like you interrupted them in the middle of the turn, and then they didn't even do anything their turn. Oh, look at that! The, 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 that's the nut draw. I needed that shit. To play Chittering Rats. Oh my god, this is great. Alright, Island. So I got Last Gasp. It's a little hard to say Last Gasp. Maybe just because you're drunk. Chittering Rats. Consult the bony dudes. Archaea Manser. Man, it's funny. I don't know. I feel like when I'm drunk, like my just my vocabulary just drops a couple notches. Like I feel like I just go down to like WMG levels of like <laughs> Nothing against them, but I can't say they're using SAT words particularly frequently in their videos. All right, chittering rats. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I know he's land strapped. He's mana strapped. This is going to hurt him. Normally, I would not advise chittering rats to have a super strong impact um, on turn three if your opponent's hitting all the drops, but he clearly didn't hit his third land or his second land or whatever the hell he wanted to do last turn. So I'm going to make him put a, a land on top of his library. No, no, it's got from Tasmal Image, and now i got to put a land in my hand. i got to put a card in my hand on top of my library, and I'm going to do it with Archaea Mancer. It doesn't really matter what I pick. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because his guy is going to die to my last gasp next turn. Yep. Last gasp, and keep the one mana open for Thought Scour. So first of all, this thing dies, then I'm going to attack, and then with Thought Scour, I might draw a card, and it could be a land, and then I will hit my fourth land drop, which would be really awesome. Alright, so his thing had that illusion crap. I hate that deck. Rainbow. Rainbow. Taste the rainbow, bitch. So normally I wouldn't advise playing an instant like this on my turn, but it's like, I'm going to play it on my turn because I need to draw land. Because I can't play a land on his turn because that's the rules of Magic the Gathering by Richard Garfield. Do you know originally, I always wondered this, but I, I, was, I was listening to podcasts from Mark Rosewater, who's like the lead head honcho, the big designer chief over there, Wizards of the Coast. And he confirmed that originally it was going to be like Magic the Gathering was the first set and then there was going to be like Magic 
the Ice Age and Magic the Fallen Empires, and it was going to change and change. Um, so that basically, basically, uh, the gathering thing was not permanent. But the thing was, then they realized they had to change the back of the card art, and then people would know what card you're going to draw. Like, if you only put four cards in your deck from one set, you'd be able to tell what card you're about to draw based on the back of the card. So I could do a couple things. I could Evil Twin, and if I do Evil Twin... Then I could make him put another card on top of his deck to make sure he gets mana screwed again. Uh, you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do because that is the best thing to do. It's going to ensure that he can't do anything. Oh, is he going to counterspell it? Go ahead. Go ahead. Counterspell Evil Twin. I love this card. You can always tell the evil one by the dagger he's sticking in you. That is amazing flavor text. Amazing lore. Everything about this card is amazing. I love Evil Twin. Now it's gone. Um, it reminds me, I, there used to be this cartoon. Um, Earthworm Jim. It was based on the video game of the same title, Earthworm Jim. And I always remember a line where Earthworm Jim had an evil twin, and his sidekick, Pete the Pup, said, Evil twins, um, superheroes and evil twins go together like peanut butter and evil peanut butter. And I just, I know it's really cheesy, but I just always thought it was hilarious. So, consult the Necrosages. I could draw two cards, which I think would be a good idea. I don't think making him discard cards is going to matter. He's got seven cards in hand. So target player draws two cards on wingspan. On the handsome is it guy. We'll do it. Hopefully I'll draw a land hit my land draft. He's not going to counter it. He's sitting on counter spell. That's the only... Yep. Oh. Oh no. He's going to do it to himself. No. Hopefully he's dumb enough to make me discard two cards. Like that would be hilarious. Nope. He's going to do it. I got four power on the board. I got okay. I'm not, I'm not too concerned. I'm not afraid. To draw a land, everybody. Now, do I want Thought Scour? I want to get a Sprite on the table. I'll get a Sprite on the table. Get the Sprite on the table. Oh, I gotta obey my thirst and go for the Sprite. <laughs> get it? It is a soda joke or pop, as you guys call it in the West, Midwest. Obey my thirst. Play surveying Sprite. What the fuck is this thing? What? Three, four, flying becomes the target of something. Jesus. I can't do much about that. Um, I can use our Mancer and get last gas back. Could make him discard two cards. Not going to do much when he's got seven cards in hand. Um, so I feel like my best bet is to just Archaeomancer. If I attack with everything, he might like think it's a trap. I could leave this guy back. If I attack with both of these, he might think it's a trap. And then he'll like... Or I could do this. Mine rot him. Cut down two cards. What's more important? He can't swing with it, but I can't let him get board position. I don't know. Really torn. Really torn. If I attack with both, he'll think that I have the minus three, minus three. But then, if I did, I would just target him. If he's not dumb, he won't fall for it. If he's not dumb, he won't fall for it. Are you a smarty? Maybe he'll answer. Then I'll know what I should do. All right, fuck it. Fuck it. RK, I'm answer. RK Amancer. I got a promo code in here. Promo card. Spinal Embrace. Pretty cool card. Steals creatures. You gain in life. All this crap. If you are not aware what promo cards are, you need to go to TopTierTactics.com where we have the new Magic the Gathering 2014 Duels of Planeswalkers promo codes. It unlocks two new cards for every deck. And yes, you could technically hack the cards in your deck. But you don't know. You don't know if you're going to get banned for hacking. So I personally wouldn't take the risk. I wouldn't take the risk. So this is one of the cards. The other card is like Colossal Whale, which is a really cool card, and it doesn't make any sense in Demir deck. And here he's got another one of these things. So we're just going to have to see. Now he knows I last gasp. He knows it. The data shows it. If I get in the Acropolis region, though, that's fucking hilarious. Okay. Okay, I got lots of mana. So I got a couple options here. I can play in the Acropolis region. Attack with everything. He'll be forced to block them all. Whatever gets through is going to get a plus one, plus one counter. He'll probably leave a 1-1. One, one. Other things will get 2-2. Two, two. It doesn't really do anything for me. Could cast last gaps, gasp, kill one of his creatures. I have enough mana to last gasp. And mind rot. And he can't counter it. So that sounds like the best idea. Sounds like the best. And I could also cast Thought Scour. Wow. Okay, that's the best option. All right, so, dude, you are going to two of your cards in your hand. 
are going to the graveyard. They're just like, oh man, I really remember my aunt and uncle. They were really cool people, but unfortunately they're in the graveyard now. Oh, <sighs> twin cast has the worst art. All right, you got rid of Phantom Warrior and Unsummon. All right, all right, fair enough. Unsummon scary. Okay. So do I attack? Um, I think if I wait for an untap, he could have a counter spell. So I feel like I just kill something right now. No, no, gotta leave the one open for Thought Scout. Why would it try to do the? Okay, this thing's gonna die now. That thing's gonna die. Leave one mana open. Okay. I could just swing with everything and see what he does. He'll probably just block one thing. He'll take two, three, four damage. Four damage. Is it worth it? No. I'll wait till I can get Necropolis region, then all the things that I want to attack with. Um, get like lots of fucking counters on them. Because if you can only block two creatures, what is this thing? Three, three, flying, vanishing. Okay, great. 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 Yeah, I remember that thing. All right, before he turns over, get rid of two cards, bro. Get rid of two cards. Let's see it. What do you mill? You lose your counter spell and your cancel. And I got the guild mage. Nothing but net. Spinal brace is very cool, by the way. Very cool. So I could just keep that back for a, uh, a surprise if he decides to attack. I could attack with my sprite. See what he does. I could drop the guild mage, start drawing mad cards. I could drop the regent. Then two creatures will get through, and they'll get counters. Then I have a 6-5 flyer, which is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, fuck. All right, let's do it. Whatever. The alcohol says I'm doing this. This is the big play. This is the big play. All right, he's got to block shit. Otherwise, it's just getting through. I don't even care. I don't even care. I just hit the space bar. Let's see you're blocking, dude. You're going to kill these rats? You're going to kill the rats let these guys get through? You take... Go down to 10. These guys are getting counters. They've become 2 2, 2 3 creatures. Alright, whatever. I don't care about your fucking Chronozoa. I do not care about your Paramecium Placebo Bacterium. Boom! Boom! 2 2. Bam! And now I got a 6 5 on the board. And I got Spinal Embrace. I'm liking this. Ba da ba ba ba! You're fucking dead. Now watch, he's going to leave like one blocker. He's got three cards in hand. He's got, he could have some tricks. He could have some tricks. Silly rabbit, tricks are for him. Attack with everything. He'll be forced to block the region, take four damage to face, then they'll, you know, get counters. I don't even know how that works. What is he going to do? He's not going to attack. I can do anything. Then again, he got mana screwed, so it's not like I'm like doing amazing here. Okay, and I have Spinal Brace, so I could steal a creature if he doubles blocks. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Frost Breath. Uh-oh. Okay, he's going to tap my two creatures. Got it. Okay, jeez, that sucks. That is the worst. Those creatures are not going anywhere. Not attacking with this thing by itself. Alright. So it was really weird. It let me... It was saying I could cast Final Brace during my... Uh, so, let's see here. What do I want to do? Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to make him discard cards because it is more hilarious. Um, okay, I don't care about the mana. I'll make him think I have one blue, so if I have one of those things. Because he's only got two cards in hand, and he... I can't cast anything else this turn, so it's much more important that he discards cards. There he goes. He loses a counter spell. He was sitting on a counter spell the whole time. Alright, that thing's going to lose a counter. That thing's going to get doubled really soon, so I'm going to have to find a way to deal with it. So he's got one card in hand. Whatever it is, I can make him discard it. So if he doesn't play it right now, it is in trouble. It is going the way of the dodo. I'm taking six damage to face... I don't think he understands how this vampire works, though, because these things are going to swing in, and they're going to double in size. Um, actually, I'm not even going to use the mana for that other thing, so this is going down. He's going to discard a card. Last card. Last dance. Romance. Last chance. Flash dance. Ravenous rats. He gets for a counter spell. Why didn't he counter it? Why didn't he counter it? He's got to discard it anyway. Why wouldn't you discard the rats? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He's taking four damage. My guys become four fours, or a four five in this case. She is very meaty. She's got some meat on her bones. Going to have six life. And there we go. They're big now. Now I could drop Maroi, which actually seems like the best idea because I don't have enough mana for, mana for Spinal Brace. Going to drop Maroi. 
I could also draw a card. Uh, put a 4 for flyer so he cannot swing in. Boom, shakalaka. Boom, shakalaka. All right, this thing is losing his last counter. It's going to double or some shit. All right, he gets two, three, three flyers. Great. It's really cool. Really cool ability. Now, if it takes three more turns, he's going to get four of them. <sighs> but what he doesn't know is I have spinal embrace. Embrace eternity. Embrace your spine. Oh, my God. How are these things three threes? They're fucking microscopic organisms. Unless they're not. Unless they're gigantic. Which I guess is moderately terrifying. Okay, he's got Phantasmal Bear. Not scary. He's not surviving this attack because I have Spinal Embrace. So it's so weird. Basically, this card is telling me I can cast it and then use one of his creatures to attack. Like, I can take this thing away. Kill it. Uh, layout let's go to 8. Alright. So look at this. See, as soon as I do it, it does this. So I could just, like, cast this thing. Is that even the rules of magic? That I could do this before I declare attackers? That doesn't seem right. So that thing's dead. And I got, like, a whole shit to... I'm not doing any math. I'm not doing any math. I don't feel like doing any math. Math is for sober magic players. That's all math is for. Good. Bye, Jace. Oh, he left the game! I didn't even realize when it happened. He left the game. I win. I win. I win. All right, we'll play someone else. Play someone else. We will play someone else. I'm using the voice chat. To speak to nobody. You are being assimilated. What deck? What deck? I feel like I stick with Mass of the Demir. It's a fun deck. There is a full Masks of the Demeter deck guide at TopTierTactics.com. So if you want to find out what cards are good, what cards are bad, and why, if you want to see a sample deck listing, you want to see ratings for every card, you want to hear some overall strategy for Masks of the Demeter, what makes a deck work, what makes a deck flunk, I guess is technically the opposite of work. And I'm playing against Hart Ziegerman. Um, all right, it's time to duel. It's time to play a children's card game. Asian Angel. I never realized that Angel's Asian before. This is a pretty good hand. Keeping it. Keeping it. Good luck. Have fun. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Boom. Keep the hand. I've seen an island on board. Moderately terrifying. This is a German. Gonna drop this thing. Gonna go fetch an island. Gonna wait until the middle of his turn to piss him off. He's gonna be like, oh, it's my turn. I get to do stuff. No, you don't get to do anything. This isn't like real magic where like the stack has priority and shit like that. This is duels of planeswalkers so I can do whatever I want whenever I want. Oh, he's playing Master Demir also. That is a bad news. That is bad news for me. Okay. He's playing Master Demir. Fuck. Fuck. Alright. So I could last gasp it now. He doesn't really have counter spells. There's like one in the whole deck. So I'm just going to wait. If he casts something juicier, I can last gasp it. Um, just force him to attack. He's got nothing to do. And last gasp it. I don't need him to get a drawing cards for us a game. I don't need him to deal damage to me for me every turn. Play chittering nat rats next turn. Force him to put a card on top of his hand. He gets the Demir Guild Mage. Now this is cool. So I'm gonna play chittering rats. He puts a card on top of his deck. Then I play Doomsday Spectre and get the rats back. Then I play chittering rats again. Make him do it again. Goodbye. Put a card in your hand. Go from four to three. Go from four to three. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. LOL. Good luck. Have fun. Have fun. Are you threatening me, bro? Wine? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. So would he attack if I attack with Chittering Rats? I don't know. You know what? I want to see if I can get in the free damage. I just want to see if it's possible. All right, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go in for it. If he blocks, that's also fine. Also an acceptable proposition. I don't think he's gonna block. He's gonna let it go. He's gonna let it go. Doomsday Specter, get back, chittering rats, motherfucker. Okay, sorry, bro. I mean nothing by. It. It's okay. You're on YouTube. Smile for the fraps. I love 
hard boiled eggs as long as they don't have that green yolk thing going on. All right. All right. Now I'm swinging. He can't block this. So what do I get to do when it deals damage to him? I look at his hand and he discards a card. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, he smiled! He smiled for the camera. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to look at his hand. So whatever he drew, I get to pick the creme de la creme. What do I want to get rid of here? Archaea Mancer is not going to help him yet. Dimrova Horror is pretty evil. Stolen Identity, also evil. Fuck, I don't know which one's more evil. The horror. The horror is more evil. Alright, goodbye. That thing's gone. Okay, so now, second main. Oh, I could do Chittering Rats again and then next turn consult the Necrosages on him. Which would be pretty evil. I do like evil. And I can cast a Guild Mage. And I can cast a Guild Mage. Alright, so he's, he's going to put a card on top of his deck. So it's good I, I got to choose which card goes out first. Okay, now I get the Guild Mage. Bam! Card advantage is on the table. Card advantage is on the table. Leave my cards, take my Demir. He wants you in his life. I don't even know what that means. Alright, so he's got Archaea Mancer. He's got another Demir Guild Mage. He's probably going to use his mana to draw a card. I don't know what the fuck he's going to do. All I know is if he goes down to two cards, he's losing his last two cards. Consult the Necro Sages. Okay, he's going to draw a card. Go, go up to four cards. Problem is, he's going to lose. He is going to lose two of them. Now, here's a little pro tip. Fucking top tier tip here. I could attack with this thing first, okay? But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this. If I use Consultant Necrosages first, he's going to get rid of his two worst cards because that's the only smart thing to do. And then, and then I will attack. And then he will only have good cards left. Whoa, I almost clicked on myself. Then he'll only have good cards he doesn't want to get rid of next. It's so, all right. Okay. So whatever he drew, he uh, he really wanted. I'm attacked with everything because the reality is he cannot afford to lose his Demir Guild Mage. And if he can, that's fine. I still have more creatures on the board. Bam, he's taking damage. Now I get to look at his hand. Fucking peep right in there like a peeping Tom. One, two, three, four, five... Beacon on rest put artifact creature card from graveyard and battlefield. I don't see what that stolen identity would be bad. If he ciphers my guy, then he could block it. So that's gonna go away. He can't keep that. He can't keep it! He cannot keep it. Um so what could he get? He could get Archaea Mancer. He could get Timrova Horror, I guess that would be bad. That would be bad for him to put into the battlefield. Unfortunately, it's a little too late. Was he cat yeah, he's gonna he's gonna target Timrova Horror. Yeah. He's gonna four four. Creature goes back to my hand. Then I have to discard a card. Luckily for me, I have an extra island. It's just sitting there waiting to get discarded. Um, unluckily for him, he's a 10. I'm a 20. And now I have a Moroi and all this other shit. So, okay. Okay. So the horror goes. Not going to have enough mana left to do anything cool. I could just do the guild mage and then return the guild mage again. Or, oh fuck. Or I could draw, he did that shit to me. Or I could draw Moroi. Basically put him on a clock. Um, hmm. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. I'll play Moroi, put him on a clock. Use Thought Scour, maybe draw land. I'll just use it right now. Maybe draw land that I can play. It is a land. Surprise, surprise. Puppy, surprise. Remember that shit from like the 90s? I'm gonna wait till his turn and be like, bitch, you don't get to do shit on your turn. You do not get to do stuff on your turn. Bam! Put a swamp in there. Oh no. Oh no. That is really evil. That every upkeep, he gets another Dimrova Horror. Every upkeep, he gets another Dimrova Horror. Every upkeep, he gets to bounce on my creatures. I have to just card a card. Fuck. That is powerful. That is powerful shit. Okay. Alright, so I, I gotta beat him to death. The problem is he's gonna bounce my Moroi. So what I really gotta do is get some... I gotta draw into something good. Okay. Alright. Fine. Gonna attack with this thing. Is he not gonna attack at all? Fine. Gonna attack with this thing. Deal 4 damage to him. He's gonna bounce it! Like... So now my options are fucking... 
I'm going to draw a card. Great. Uh, for land cost, yeah, that's fine. I'll leave three open, that's fine. Okay, that's good. Then I can play a guild mage. So you can't get rid of both of them, or if I play the specter and force to bounce it. But then if he makes me bounce something, then I'm going to have to discard a creature. He's going he's gonna to bounce that Moroi. Choose between Moroi and the specter, which I guess is better. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll get the guild mage on the table. Although, Spectre might have been better. I don't know. Flying. Because then I have a flyer on the board no matter what. So, fuck. Now he gets another one. He literally gets another 4-4 four, four every turn. Every goddamn turn. Now I have to discard something. Alright, Spectre's going away. Spectre's going away. Spectre's going away. Fuck. Yeah, that's not going to help me. This rate. He's going to draw cards. Oh god, he's going to get this. This whole thing is going to turn around me. I need something. What do I need? I need something powerful. I need something in my deck, like something with some power. Like real ultimate power. Shit, he's not even going to attack. He's just going to wait till he like out board positions me. Shearing Rax gets rid of whatever's in his hand, but he still has got four fours in the board. I don't care. I don't want him to have cards in hand. Last gasp. In response, he's going to kill one of my guild mages. He doesn't have to put anything on the top of his deck. Fine. Fine. So now I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. I don't care about the mana cost. There we go. Bam. Fuck. Fuck. It's so overpowered. I can steal his creature, but it doesn't even matter. Jesus. How am I supposed to win? Damn it! Oh my god! It follow footsteps is so good. I feel like I messed up. I feel like I messed up. Let's see. It could get rid of the guild mage. Do I have a guild? Why can't I see the battlefield? I can't see anything. Alright, no point in having two of these things. Oh, shit! That's my only one! Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. God damn it. He's going to draw a card. Once he gets eight lands, I'm really in a lot of trouble. The good thing is he can't really afford to attack. If I get a follow-up footsteps, I'd be in a good position. That'd be great. No, I'm not going to block. not going to block. I could possibly still get something that allows me to get through. All right. Okay. That doesn't help. So I'm going to cast this and steal this. Cool. Then I'm going to cast this, which he's definitely going to bounce. Because he doesn't want a 4-4 four, four flyer on the board. Oh my god. The rats. Oh my god, dude. This sucks. I should have gotten rid of the beacon. I got rid of the wrong card. I put a card in his graveyard. I'm an idiot. I put a card in his graveyard. I put a creature card in his graveyard when his deck has recursion. It's like completely retarded. Why didn't he do this card? Then he would get it back. If he returned it to his owner's hand, he would get to mere guild mage back. And then, then I would have to return to her. Oh, it's owner's hand, and that player discards a card. But he could still get his guild mage back. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck, what is he getting? Fuck! Fuck! Oh, god damn it. Oh my god, he's got four fours up the ass. My ass. They're distinctly up my ass. They are coming in for the ass. He's never going to attack with a real one. 8 damage? Yeah, I could take 8 damage. Yeah, I could take 8 damage. Is there... I don't even know if there's anything in my deck that will, like, actually... Why did he... He doesn't... Oh, fine. Whatever. I don't think there's anything in my deck that can, like, save me. I don't think there is. Just going to draw a card. Just going to draw a card. See if I get anything cool. Wheel of Morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the... No, that's not going to help. 
Not gonna help. Not gonna help. I lose. All right, GG. Just swing. You win. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. Can't win them all. Cannot win them all. Cannot win them all. All right. Goodbye. Fine. You wanna kill my guy? You just kill him. I don't care. <sighs> Just swing, you win. What? A, yeah, I don't even. Doesn't even kill that thing. I don't care. All right, all right. Let's do one more game. I don't. What, has it been thirty minutes? I can't. I am. I have no clue what time it is. It's been like thirty minutes, according to my Audacity recording device. It's been thirty minutes. Feels like it's been like eight hours. Feels like the Cabernet says it's been eight hours. So I'm gonna just gonna listen to it. I don't argue. All right. All right, different deck, different deck. What's the deck I haven't played with on the internet so far? What does he say? What? I can see your decks, good times. What? Uh, okay. Good times. I can see yours. See yours. Mine. Oh! We seem to have encountered a bug where we can see each other's decks. Alright, alright, let's do it. We're going random decks. Random decks! We've encountered bugs, so we're going to take advantage of it. Random decks. So let's see what I got. Loving. Oh! Well, wouldn't you know? Got the exact same thing. Alright, not a, not a bad hand. A couple islands. I got Guild Mage. I got some fucking Sprite. Official, official magic card of the NBA. Obey your thirst, Sprite. Doomsday Spectre, Demrova Horror. Okay, got it. Okay, drop one of these in. Drop one of the fucking. Uh, I don't know which one I want. I guess I want the Guild Mage. Guild Mage. Next turn I could play Sprite and Thought Scour. Really slick. Yeah, you know it, Brosef. Alright, so he's playing uh, Predatory Hunger. I really love the art on this card. Nature's Lore, he ramps. Therese Nielsen, really great artist. Really great artist. Alright, got a Swamp. Okay, swinging in for two. I love this guy. He looks so evil. He looks so insidious. So delightfully insidious. Sprite. Now, I like to play Thought Scout on my turn. For the primary reason of it's demoralizing to the enemy for them to see the two cards they lost. Like, bam, what did he lose? Oh, uh, he wanted Garrick's Companion. If he'd really need a farce, he doesn't get it. Now, of course, if he didn't need any of those cards and he draws in some fucking awesome card, then he's not going to. See, people always view um, Mill the wrong way. When they lose cards off the top of their deck, oh, god damn it. Well, that doesn't help anything, does it? What's he going to get? The Companion or the Lore? I can see either one. At least he doesn't get to play it this turn. Okay. Alright, got Chittering Rats, but cannot play yet. Could play Spectre. I'd have to bounce a creature. Hmm. My options are play Spectre, bounce a creature. Oh, it seems like Spectre is a really good idea. Drawing a card is not going to be a big deal. Getting rid of the cards in hand when he's got no flying defense is a really good idea. So we got the sprite swinging in. Leave this guy behind. Maybe I'll bounce the sprite to the next turn if I want to. I have the option to use the guild mage's ability. All right, here we go. Spectre, bounce the sprite. Good job, good job. I would have preferred to bounce in that has it coming into play, entering the battlefield effect. But if I want to use the guild mage, I need him on the battlefield. Next turn, hit five. Next turn, make him ditch any card in his hand. Now he's got to decide. He's got six cards in his hand. He knows if he can't block or kill this flyer that he is in a world of a card disadvantage because I'm going to make him discard a card of my choosing. Um, I can make him discard a second card with the mere guild mage. He's just going to empty his hand, get everything on the board. He's going to swing. He's not going to swing for two. I don't believe that deck has giant growth, which is kind of a huge omission. Finally get the fucking swamp. So I could chittering rats, but if I chittering rats, he knows I'm gonna swing with the other thing. He knows it. He knows it's coming. So I'm just gonna swing first. 
I'm going to be taking a lot of damage to the face next turn. Get rid of anything I want and then force him to put a card on top of his library. We'll see what it looks like when I see what's in his hand. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. He's got six lands, so he could play Vigor next turn. So that absolutely can't happen. Green Sun Zenith, also bad. Fuck, I do not have good options here. Vigor is evil. That's got to go. That cannot stay in his hand. That's like basically I lose the game when Vigor hits the battlefield. And then I'm going to Chittering Rats and make him drop another card. And then I got the Sprite. Then I got the Sprite. Which I could use as a chump blocker. He puts a card on top of his deck. So he's going to, if he puts a land, he's just going to draw a land he needs anyway. Whatever. It's not going to put him back that much. It's just going to limit his options slightly. Okay. Board position is okay, but he's got the creature power right now. If he swings with Garrix, at least I know he's got no pump in his hand. Um, he could play the Green Sun Zenith and go get any creature he wants that costs five or less. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so five or less. Um, I know he's got no combat tricks in his hand. I know he's got that troll. He's going to attack with two, one. He's going to attack here. I'm just going to kill off his creatures. I'm going to take the three damage. It's only three damage, not a big deal. And I'm going to draw a card. Um, yes, I'd like to draw a card. Now, he's going to lose a card out of his hand next turn, unless he casts it right now. He's got to drop the troll, or he's got to go search his deck for something that costs five or less. But whatever he doesn't play is what he loses next turn. He, he can only have one. There can only be one. This is what's great about this card. God damn, this art is cool. He's flying like a leech through the air through a portal. I believe this card is from Invasion, or Planar Chaos, or one of those... Uh, invasion, I believe. Or what was the one after Invasion? He says, search his library for a green creature card that costs five or less. Please don't be something that fucks me over. However, I have Demrova Horror. So actually, I'm in a really good position, and here's why. Here's why, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm going to make him... I'm going to look at his hand, discard it, watch this. Oh my god, I feel so evil. This is hilarious. Watch this. So he just got this creature. This is like Vorpede is nasty. Vorpede is insane. 5 for a 5 for Vigilance, Trample, Undying. It is literally insane. Now I'm going to make him discard that troll in his hand. I remembered what it was. Now he's got no cards in his hand. So when Demrova Horror hits the board, then he's going to have a bad day. He's going to have... You're, gonna, you're about to have a bad day, bro. Bad day. That goes to his hand. Then he has to discard a card. So he loses that card, too. No, he cast Green Sun Zenith for nothing. Then I have the best creatures on the board. Best guy. I love this thing. Look how evil it looks. Look at the art. It looks awesome. It's glowing tentacles. This thing is like, Jesus, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. He's got no cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't have, I'm not going to hit the eight drop. Might as well go get this. Might as well go get a swamp. And I'm actually also... I'm going to use this ability to draw a card first because if I draw a removal, I could use it, you know, before combat. Okay, didn't draw it. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know what I'm thinking here. This thing attacks. This thing attacks. He could double block, but then he loses all his creatures. He could double. Well, he'll only lose one creature. That's fine. That's fine. Which one would I rather get rid of? The 3-3. Three, three. Okay. That's fine. I still have the creature advantage. So yeah, I got rid of the 3-3. Yeah, there's a couple of reasons I got rid of the 3-3. First of all, it's because 3-2, I can block and kill either of these guys. Now, he can't block and have a favorable block now anymore if he wants to block either of these two things. He has to play everything in his hand, by the way, now, because if he doesn't, it dies to Doomsday Spectre. So he doesn't really have a choice. He has to play every card he draws, whether it's advantageous or not. Does he really want to lose one of his creatures? Like, I don't... Yeah, sure, I'll trade. Because you have a regenerating blocker. It's not like Chittering Rats is ever going to be relevant again for the rest of the game. Okay. Draw two cards. I could attack. Yeah, I guess I should have done that thing. I should have drawn the card. I'll draw a card and I'll play a Sprite. Or I could put him on a clock. Or I could do both. Yeah, you know what? Put him on a clock. Got a bunch of flyers on the board. He can't do anything about flyers. He cannot keep cards in his hand. He has to play everything off the top of his deck. Game is over as far as I'm concerned. Then again, I thought the last game was over. And he gets Regal Force. He gets to draw two green creature, two cards. 
Regal Force, pretty good card. Seven for five, five. He draws a card. Every screen creature. Very minimum is one creature. He plays the land. He can't even bluff because he knows Doomsday Spectre is going to ruin his shit. And prey upon. Wow, I didn't realize that. Okay, wow. So the fight mechanic going to play there. I would have killed this thing, honestly. I would have killed Doomsday Spectre. I don't know. Uh, I would have. I don't know. I could go either way. He's, he's going to swing for three. He can't regenerate. Chris, do I double block or do I take four? I think. <sighs> could double block. But I uh, right now, this thing lets me draw two cards a turn. I could just chump. I'll just chump and draw a card. I'll just chump. This thing lets me draw two cards a turn. I can't throw that away. It's too powerful. Yes, I'd like to draw a card. Why wouldn't I want to draw a card? All right. Oh, end of your turn. Mill two, and I'll draw a card. Wow, that was nice. That was nice. That was a really nice play. All right, I got some removal here. So I can get rid of this thing. Pretty cool. I could also use this as a trick to, to trade for the Regal Force. So which is more dangerous to me, the Regal Force? Or the, I could, though. If I attack, he'll probably, he'll probably think I have last gas. He'll be thinking correctly. Um, so let me draw a card first. That's fine. That mana combination is completely acceptable. Draw a card first. Oh, hands of binding. Target creature doesn't untap during its control untap step. Very cool. So I'm going to tap this thing. Then I get to cipher it, put it on one of my creatures so whenever it deals damage to him, I get to copy it. Boom. Now it doesn't even matter. Swing with both creatures for four damage, and I get to cipher because to cast it again. This thing won't untap either. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. See, this is why it's important to do things in your first main sometimes. Yes. Yes, of course I want to cast this thing without paying its mana cost. Of course I do. His creatures don't do jack shit now. Q, Q. Just so you know, man, you can watch this video pretty soon, probably tomorrow, at youtube.com slash wingspantt. I'm wingspantt, the fourth best commentator on YouTube, just for future reference. Okay, look at this. Draw a card. Draw a card. I don't care. Draw a card. Don't care. That is really cool. Draw another card. Wingspan. Get some black and blue in there. Draw all kinds of cards. Draw a land. Really cool. All right, yo, Mr. Conjure, search your stuff on YouTube. You damn skiffy. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I forgot to attack. Oh, god damn it, I forgot to attack. Oh, that sucks. I am too busy talking into the microphone. Forgot to attack. Well, he gets an extra turn. Let's see what he drew. Let's see what he drew. <laughs> he should just skip, but he's an F. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, he's going to put four plus plus on counters on each creature you control. Except this thing doesn't get counters. Except that thing doesn't get counters. Okay, so this creature's not gonna untap. It's fine, I can take the damage. I don't have a choice. Just gonna take the damage. Gonna go down to seven. I'm trying to think if he has anything that's gonna get him to extricate him from this uh, dilemma. I'll let me go get an island. No, swamp. I got a bunch of black cards on hand. All right, there you go. All right, all right. All right, attack for four. Going to get the cipher. This thing won't... Why is it in black and white? What, did it go back in time? Did it go back in time in the 1950s or something like that? All right. Yes, I would like to cast it. That thing doesn't untap. I'll play the rats just to be absolutely safe. Wait, let me draw a card first. Draw a card. Draw a card. Al, you card. Six left. Leave two for last gasp. Chittering rats is not going to do anything. So I'll just play Ravenous Rats. I'll just play Ravenous Rats. Just to be safe. <laughs> you got this, bro. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'll keep Last Gasp as an emergency. As an emergency. Wow, 45 minutes of video. This is what happens when I have like way too many glasses of Cabernet. What? I don't even remember. What. Was it Cab? It was a Cab. 
Death Cab. Death Cab for Drunky. Regal Force. It's like an evil frog. He gets to return a green card from his graveyard to his hand. Fuck! What is he going to get? He is going to get Prey Upon. No! 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 It's weird. I don't want him to have it. Don't want him to have the card. I know it's not instant. I don't care. <laughs> He's not allowed to have it. All right. Okay, that's it. All right, everyone on Wingspan TT from TopTierTactics.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll come back next time. I hope you'll watch this. You'll like it. You'll subscribe. You'll send it to your friends. You'll send it to your enemies. You'll go to TopTierTactics.com. You'll love me. You'll love everything I've ever done. And you'll love Magic the Gathering. Until next time, I'm the fourth best commentator on YouTube. And uh, until then, I uh, guess I'll swing first and then I'll do the, uh, the little outro. Yay, comment down. Until then, cheers!